Good morning. Boeing, the um, airplane builder, has risen to an all-time high after they said that they want to build less triple uh, seven. But they also said that they want to pay out more dividend and um, have more buybacks, and that has driven the stock to an all-time high. Right now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is uh, so overbought as it has only been four other times in the past 100 years. If you look at the relative strength index, it's just shot up uh, into the overbought area with the Trump rally. Friday, we will have a quad witching day, which is the quarterly witching day with options and futures contracts expiring. The normal range from the low to the high, low to the high of the week will be 2.98% or have been 2.98% on average for the S&P 500 in the past uh, decade. So praise for more volatility. The uh, Federal Reserve will meet uh, today and it will be very, inter very interesting to hear the opinion of uh, Fed Chair Yellen um, in her press conference, which will be 30 minutes after the uh, Fed announcement this evening. And uh, it will be very interesting to hear what she will say or will she will have to say about inflation spiking over the Fed targets. Will she tolerate it or will she um, do something against it? Everybody in the market expects that she will hike rates by 25 basis points. So why not do a 50 basis point hike? That's a big topic. Everybody or at least most of the traders are somewhat ignoring that there will be a Fed meeting where the Fed is hiking rates this evening. Nobody's really talking about that. Everybody's talking about the rally. Everybody's talking about stocks that go up. Everybody's um, talking about Trump and the forecast on his economic policies. So that is um, dangerous because, as I said in the past, it has just spiked some meaningful volatility. The AD line, that's the advanced decline line in the S&P 500, is showing a divergence. The S&P 500 for standard equities in the United States, so this is the broad market, broad Wall Street, has made higher highs, has gone to all-time highs, as we know. But the number of stocks and equities actually participating from that advance are going down. So that is a, that is a divergence, that's a bearish, negative, uh, bearish signal from technical analysis standpoint. Gallup, and that is uh, from the real economy, some numbers, has seldom seen such a spike in economic confidence. We are at a nine-year high in economic confidence in the United States. So yes, it might very well be that Trump has changed um, the behavior of consumers and has changed the behaviors especially of companies. The missing piece of the puzzle that central banks are trying or have tried to stimulate in the past decade or so was investments from companies, corporate investments. And if Trump really, at least for the United States, has achieved with a change in sentiment that corporations invest again, that would be a big, big win for the US economy and could also stimulate world growth.